Yeah, man, I think it was a, another great response from from the team after you know a couple hard games on the road to California and, and Arizona. Uh, we're, we're pretty banged up. It, typically, that's what happens at that point in the year. But we're we're a bit more banged up than than normal. Um, those of you who watch the game, you can see we've got about four or five kids in in full thigh wraps right now, and I think that they knew that they were going to be asked to to give us everything they had. They were going to have to they were going to have to dig deep, and I think that all of them um, answered the call in, in a big, big way. Uh, and then, with that being said, we being so thin, we had to go to some some freshmen that have played bit part roles for us and, have, and, and done a great job doing that but we had to ask them to give us more than they've given us and, and I think that that was in uh, Lillian Adams that we call LA and KK January um, Emma McLaughlin put in a great shift when she was asked to do that this weekend and I think that it took it took all of us this weekend um, to get the result that we that we got I think that we're all still you know a little bit stung by the by the last 30 seconds but um, after a long year and a, and a long season, uh, and probably even more so um, than normal, I think, extremely long, I think that for those kids to give what they gave in that last game, well, it, it was it was it was fantastic effort. The goal at RGB, like you could see, the offensive pressure was in the box, and that was something that you guys I know have been like working for the whole season, and to see Lily get that goal off of a rebound. Just talk about what you guys saw. Fantastic goal in a lot of ways. And, and I don't know. Some people maybe picked it up. Uh, some people maybe just thought that we were really pushing for it. But we made a tactical adjustment in that game. And, um, you know, I think a tie would have would have been a, a good result given the circumstances, being thin, um, having so many people just on the sideline that just were completely tapped, that physically they weren't even allowed to play. Um, and so... We, we leaned on our captains and we asked them a big question. We've been working for this and we, we asked them if they wanted to go for it, risk, risk uh, losing and, and push all, everybody forward into what we call a 2-4-4 stance where we just go for it. We made an adjustment to the keeper. We put one of our keepers in Bradley Red in that's very technically sound with her feet. We, we pushed our, our center backs all the way up to the to the midfield line and used that as an offside trap for ourselves, and then we went for it. And we've done this once before a few years back. It's something that, that we've kind of been working on playing for a, for a scenario like this. And they committed to it, and this is the first time in-game that we've really gone that way, and we've only introduced it in like the last, you know, two and a half weeks. And they, they executed expertly, um, and that goal was not by luck it was by design we that's what we wanted to do was give our chance ourselves those, or give ourselves the chance to to be in a position that way and then lily did what she has been doing in training for most of the year but really turned it on these last few weeks and she got the goal that she she wishes would have come a lot sooner but that is that is absolutely what we expect from lily hargrove and i think that that is absolutely what we'll get from her in the future because this is this is the kind of kid that we've been looking for and she's had this all year long so it's been great to see that she was able to cap off a difficult season for herself and from the team in a great way with a with a really strong finish at, right there at the end of the game like you said season not ending the way that you guys wanted but just kind of recap the season overall what you've seen from the girls and i know you've got a good group of juniors that will be that will be your seniors will be the leaders on your team next year yeah uh, just you know full transparency i think that you ask anybody on the team and they will tell you that uh, this has not been uh, the season that we any any of us envisioned, uh, we have we have the players in place. I think that we we adopted early on maybe a stance that we were going to be a bit more direct. I think that you know that was kind of what we we saw maybe being the best way forward for ourselves and to to maybe attack the season and, and get the results. We we had a very tough slate at the first of the year in our non-con, and I think those things started to maybe stack a little bit and mount. And maybe even take a little bit of the the belief out out, out of ourselves. Uh, I think if you ask the team, that would be what their 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 number one thought was: is that they just didn't think they had the ability to to go and, and get the results that we knew that as a coaching staff we knew that they were able to do. Um, but then there was a change about two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, and and we we really said, hey, look, you know, we, we we've tried this direct approach. Um, 
that's not what, what has gotten us, very, you know, it hasn't served us very well. And I think that we said, look, you guys have got the ability to put the ball in the deck and, and contain contain the ball and keep the pressure away from us by not allowing the other team to get the ball, especially if we play fast like we're capable of doing. And at the at the end of a very rough season, you never know if they're going to fully transition, if they're going to give themselves that ability to do that. But they bought in. Um and they started to have some success immediately. We won right out of the gate after we, we made the adjustment against uh, Southern, and then it kind of you know we played a very difficult uh, road you know uh, road trip in, in uh, Grand Canyon and, and Cal Baptist, and then I think it was just trying to to figure out how we regroup again and make sure that the that there was still that belief there, and they absolutely believed. So we managed some legs, and and we we played for it. We went for it on on a lot of. Um, players that were probably only able to give us probably 60, 70 percent of what they're capable of. And I think that that's telling in itself. If you've got four or five players out there only able to give you 60, 70 percent of their best effort and you're able to still get a result like that, because our first half was not great. We, we addressed that. We talked about that. We managed that at halftime. And we just told them to settle in and, and do what we've talked about doing all week. And then in the second half, it was a completely different ball game. And I think had we played that way the whole game, I, I could only imagine – what the level of belief and the level of execution would have been in the second half. But I definitely think that they, they responded in the second half. We made the tactical adjustment late in the game, and we pushed and got a goal that we expected to get um, from a player that we expected to be scoring all year. So I think the kids, were, the players were great. They did their job um, in a lot of ways and, and rebound psychologically from, from a very difficult start of the season. So I can't be prouder for, of, of them and what they've accomplished. And I'm excited to see what these guys do next year because this team is absolutely built um, to do great things in the future. So last presser that you were in here, um, you brought a different taste. You were able to bring in a little bit of your recruiting aspect that you have with your job. Um, with the interim head coach and with that recruiting aspect, what is the next step specifically for you when it comes to the offseason? Well, currently right now, we've been told that uh, everybody's staying, and I think that's great, and I think we've got a lot of uh, positive feedback from the 2024s, and, and they're all they're excited now based on what they've been seeing, kind of how we've transitioned into this this more possession-based uh, attack, and I think that everybody says they're going to they're gonna move forward with uh, committing to us, so that's great for us. It was a very strong class. We, we got tons of accolades on different public forums uh, and rec- recruiting services about what, what this class is is going to entail. Uh, we've got a lot of three stars and two stars and, you know, regionally ranked players and even some nationally ranked players in this class. Um, and so I think that with those kids still committing to, to SFA, that's a that's a big coup for us. Um, and I think that's exciting for the players that are returning because uh, they were a bit anxious at times, as sometimes you get when you've had the season you've had. Um, so I think that gives that group, our, our returning group, um, a little bit more excitement to know that this very strong 2024 class is, is still committed and is, is planning on signing on the 8th. Um, and so I, I think going into the spring, uh, we're, we're going to, A, the way we finished is a, is, a great, is a great way to finish the season, and I think it's going to give them some life. But to know that their, their class of 2024s, who they saw not too long ago on their official visit, they, them coming in still is going to be massive for us in a lot of ways just in the way we train, knowing that there's going to be some players coming with the ability to maybe take some spots, so everybody's going to have to step up, but also just to know that you're going to have this really elite group of players coming in next year. That makes it exciting and gives people that energy that maybe you know sometimes is hard to find when you've had a season that we've had. So I think the, the spring is going to be really, really fun. I think that we're excited about putting the schedule together for these guys to play it. I know we've had quite a few people reach out um, that are excited to kind of test themselves against the version of what they've been seeing in these last few weeks. Um, because, again, I think there's this, this group is only going to go from stride to stride. Tremendous effort these past few weeks. For guys. sure. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it, guys.